I um I'm Bruce. I'm the director of the men's um home. I like to first give a shout out to one of our graduates that have he was in the program, man. He he was my roommate. I had got a chance to talk to him all the time, even while he was sleeping. Cause I'm known for running my mouth a little bit. Um my boy Mazel, he's in the house right here. Just say something, you know, just raise your hand. You know. Um so he's a, he's a graduate and he came in and you know did his thing and um it's all about mercy and grace and and being tough and hard and everything mixed together. Um I I've been here about 2 years. I came through for a restoration myself. Um I was told I, by by this church and what they do here. Um it's like a miniature teen challenge been there before. So um I went through some stuff on my own. Um I'm up I'm, I'm I'm glad to have been um I sat under John for a while. He was the director of the program. I had the opportunity to sit under him and watch him do his thing and and um and us bump heads because it is different when you live with somebody. Come on, it is very different when you get men from everywhere and put all the men in the same house. It is extremely funny. <laughs> and so we um so you know we argue and we fuss and. Um, we, we know a lot of stuff about one another. It, it is a very unique situation. I'm honored to be, um, given this opportunity, um, to be a blessing in their lives. Um, this is all, this is what I was created to do. I was made to do this. I was created by God to do this. So I love this. I don't get tired. I'm not jumping ship. I don't care how they don't like me or do like me. Talk about me, don't talk about me, nah, whatever. I just go in their room and talk to them. So I think who I should bring up first, um, this guy, I heard his voice, and I, I didn't I didn't know this kid was gonna even make it. You know, I didn't I thought he was some, you know, we not we not racist here or anything like that. But he he sounded like some little look nice little cute little white guy, you know, kid. He sounded like he was about 13, 14 years old, and his parents wanted him to come in the program. And I said, he'll die here. We are hardcore, man. You know what I mean? We are like rather die brothers. And so, and so they so they say, um, no, he need to come here for all these different reasons. And they brought the brother here. And I, as soon as he walked in the door, I said, oh, he'll be fine. As soon as I seen him, I said, oh, he's not Opie. I thought I thought we had an Opie guy coming. And so I'd like to introduce you to this brother, man, um, 18 years old, um, praying to God to get his ARD or whatever that thing is. What is that ARD? Yeah, hoping he get that. And um, he has been, hands down, the number one memory verse reciter in the house. I'm telling you. My man, Jared. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that ain't that. <laughs> if you really don't know, I don't like talking in front of people like this. I'm a very shy guy. Uh, my testimony. Back home, I didn't really read my Bible that much. I was a country person. I worked on my farms before. But when I came here, before, before I came here, when I came here, I read the Bible, Bruce, the men. <laughs> the director. He showed me a lot of stuff. He taught me a lot of stuff. I know if I didn't meet Bruce that I would brought my life down very quickly. I was a person who had a lot of anger issues. I wouldn't tell anyone I had anger. Many times I was supposed to be dead, but Bruce, he really helped me out. He showed, he taught me everything in the Bible so far, even when I don't want him to. He would run his mouth every day. 
and before before John left to marry Anne, <laughs> John would be John would help me out. He would give me a little advice. He would always come up six in the morning, five in the morning, wake up, come on, we got prayer, let's go and walk out, turn the light on. Uh man, John and Bruce helped me out many times in my life. I was thinking in my brain to walk out many times, but something stopped me and told me to stay here and work this out. Thank you. Oh, come come on, come back up. We're gonna pray for you, brother. You're gonna get some oil. We um we got we got chicken grease. It, it, he 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 hates fried chicken. I mean no he don't he don't dislike it. He hates He would have told me that chicken. we would have pushed off his graduation until the beginning of the year. You know, he <laughs> don't like fried chicken. Somebody he hates. So this is um we we give you this and we want you to be honored by this. This is our City Reach Reading Men's Discipleship and Recovery Home. Hallelujah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I will say about Jared that when I too first met Jared and saw that he was coming into our home, I had my concerns that he was going to get eaten up alive as well. Um, and he's proved he's proved to be one of the guys that has been a servant and if you want to be part of any team and especially this team here the number one criteria for anybody is to learn and be a servant because as you serve you will be lifted god will take care of that for you I just want to pray for him Father, we anoint him in the name of Jesus. We thank you for his life, Lord God. We thank you for his testimony. We thank you that he's put his trust in you. We thank you that he has graduated from this program with excellence. We thank you, Lord God, that this is not the end, but the beginning. The beginning of all that you're going to do. The beginning of all that you're going to reveal. The beginning of all the work that you've started. Lord God, you're faithful to see it to completion. So we ask that your hands stay on him. Direct him. Guide him. As he continues his education. As he continues to serve you. As he continues to follow the call that you put in him and on him. We, as a church, Lord God, are thankful that we can partner with you, Lord God. And be part of the life transformation that's happened and is happening in his life. So Lord, continue to use him. Let him be a testimony to the young and to the old alike of what it is to follow you with his heart completely surrendered to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, amen. Come on, somebody. All right, brother. Yeah. Mr. J.